What's up guys, it's Austin and today we're going to talk about 8 things I love about my Dodge Charger RT all-wheel drive. So the first thing that I love about this car is in fact that it is all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is absolutely great, especially living here in Illinois where winters are rough. And it just gives you that extra sense of security you need when you're, you know, going through four inches, five inches of snow from fresh powder from the night before. And being that this is my daily driver and I do have a little bit of a commute to work every day, it really does give me that added sense of security. And I don't think that I could ever go back to just a rear wheel drive car. Number two is that this does have the V8 Hemi. And that V8 Hemi connected to this all-wheel drive system is absolutely great. Launches from a dead stop are fantastic. There's no tire spin. I mean, that is kind of the downside as well, is I can't light my rear tires up whenever I want because of the all-wheel drive system. But with that being said, Dodge has done a great job with connecting the engine and the transmission on this with the all-wheel drive. And it's just a fun car overall, even still being all-wheel drive. The third thing that I love about this car is this interior styling that they did. You know, looking at all-wheel drive cars, I was in the market originally looking at BMW 5 Series and Audi A6s. And obviously those are in the luxury range and Dodge wasn't really a thought at the time until I really didn't want to sacrifice giving up a V8 for a V6 or an inline six just so I could have all-wheel drive. So then it narrowed my search down to two cars, this Charger and a 300. And I had never been in a Charger before I sat in this exact car that I bought. And I'm honestly pretty impressed with what Dodge has done recently with their vehicles. I mean, everything in here is nicely leather padded. I've got heated and cooled seats. I have heated and cooled cup holders, heated rear seats. It's just amazing what this car is compared to a car that's twice its price. <clears throat> Number four is the exterior of this vehicle. Just the moldings that it has on the hood, on the door, the lines, the big rear end, the track inspired tail light that it has that goes all the way across the rear end of the car, the big grill, it all just makes for a mean car just mean looking and you know when you're rolling down the road people automatically know what car you're in it's not one of those things where oh maybe is that a Sentra is it an Altima is it a Maxima you know to the average eye they're not going to know the difference between the three Nissan brands and I mentioned Nissan because an Altima just rolled, rolled by me up here but you know just something like that like cars they just look similar throughout their progressions and this isn't one of those cars so people really know what kind of car you're in when you're driving it and I love that. Number five that I love about this car is the Uconnect and I'm not going to go into too much detail about the Uconnect because there are tons of videos out there on why people love this Uconnect but just some highlights that I love about it is it's just easy to use everything's nice and vibrant it's big you know, all your controls, your quick controls are down here on the bottom. So if I want to go to phone, I don't have to like back out of something to go to my phone. I can just skip through programs pretty quickly. And I really enjoy that. The sixth thing that I like about this car is the feeling that I get when I drive it. And yes, it is kind of on the lower end of Dodge's spectrum of vehicles now. You have the V6, the RT V8 5.7, and then, you know, you've got your Scat Pack SRT8 and SRT Hellcat. So while it is on the lower end of Dodge's power spectrum, it is a lot more power than other competitors in its class. But then again, it has to be being almost 4,500 4, pounds. So before this, I had a Mustang GT that with all the bolt-ons I had on it, you know, was maybe luckily pushing 325 horsepower. And this with 370 horsepower and I believe it's 385 foot-pounds of torque out of the factory, you can just really feel the power there. And you know, it's not really lacking anything. For 
for what I use it for. Like I said, it's my daily driver. I commute back and forth to work and stop and go traffic. So it's perfect for me. I love it. The power's there when you need it. It's not overbearing, you know. I feel like I use a good amount of the car. I'm not, I don't have a 707 horsepower car where I'm only using 30% of the car at a time. You know, I'd probably realistically say I use 70% of this car, which I feel is a good number. I mean, to each their own. The, the seventh thing that I enjoy about this car really goes back into the gauges. And as I was researching cars and looking at cars, it's something that never really caught my attention because it's kind of hard to see. But I'm a big gauge cluster guy. A lot of times I'll buy cars based on the way the interior, just what I see looks. And the gauges on this car are just absolutely fantastic. The lettering that Dodge used on this is great. And the needle itself is actually this pretty badass arrow. And I'll probably try to throw a picture in here for you guys so you can see that better because it's something that I never saw and I watched hundreds of Charger videos try, you know, trying to make a decision to purchase this car. So I'll throw a picture in there for you on that. The eighth thing that I love about this car is the proximity key that it has. So I had never had one of these before and I don't know how I've lived without one. Remote start is fantastic on negative degree days. I love that. And just the fact that I don't have to fumble around for my keys and try to hit the unlock button. I can just leave my key in my pocket, walk up to my door, put my hand under the door, and it opens. Or I can just walk up to the trunk with the car locked, hit the trunk button on the third brake light, and it'll open the trunk all the way. So the proximity key is definitely something that has changed my life in a way. It's made everything about walking up to a car easier, starting a car. And with that automatic start that the charger has, is with my heated and cooled seats, it automatically detects whether I need the heated seats on or the cooled seats on and what to set the cabin air temperature at. And I've never had something like that before. So, you know, I'm extremely happy with this car. Like I said, guys, those are just some of the quick things about this car that I love. You know, I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch. It's just hard to think on the spot right now what I actually love about this car. But I think I covered a lot of the major things that I really enjoy about it. And if you like my videos, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Like my videos. I appreciate you guys watching it. And stay tuned. There's going to be more coming all the time. Thanks.